Are you interested to learn more about the library assets that are available in Camtasia? In the last few years, Camtasia has been massively increasing the amount of assets that they provide along with their product. These are titles, they're things like lower thirds, audio, video, and all sorts of things that can really add to your video and make your video a lot richer. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of those library assets. I'm gonna show you how you can edit and change them. The great thing about the library assets is that they're completely flexible. But I'm also gonna show you some of the latest library assets, including the dynamic backgrounds, which we can use in green screen videos. Finally, I'm also going to point out that you can make your own library assets. You're not limited to just using the library assets that Camtasia provides. This really is going to help you to take your Camtasia skills to another level. It's going to save you loads of time and it's definitely going to make your videos look more professional. I'll put a menu system so you can jump to different parts of the video if there's a specific thing that you want to feature. Final thing, people always ask me, how do you make your videos? Well, actually I use Camtasia. And what I've done is in the description, there's a link if you want to download and test Camtasia for free. There's also a link to get an educational discount if you work in education and an additional 10% discount because I've put a special code that you can use. You can also use that code to buy the commercial version that will give you 10% off. And there's also a six part free course on using Camtasia and I've also included that in the description as well. So let's get started. Please like the video, please share the video with other people and of course comment on it. Working with library assets in Camtasia, off we go. The library feature in Camtasia has been really extended over the last few editions of Camtasia. And if we click on the library here on the left hand side and look at now the number of sections that are available to us, you can see there's all sorts of things from channel kits and audio and cursor clicks and dynamic backgrounds. And all of this is all comes with the Camtasia package. And of course, this saves you time because you haven't got to create the animations, etc. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through some of these features, but then I'm also gonna show you how you can create your own libraries of animations and, and anything that you create in Camtasia that you wanna keep as a library feature. So let's look at some of the things that I'm continually using in Camtasia. And again, in that library, I'm going to come down to titles. And I've noticed that in Camtasia 2023, they've extended these big type. I'll just grab one and drag it onto the screen for you and I'll play it. So you immediately you'll see exactly what it's going to look like. And then what you can do over here on the right hand side is simply update the text and put in the text that's appropriate to you. So look how this looks. So if we look over here on the right hand side, the obvious thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text so that it's going to say my company teacher training videos. OK, but also if I click here, I could change lots of other things as well. So I can change the font if it's bold, the size of it, um, the position on the screen, if it's, you know, either to the left or to the right, etc. So I've got loads of options here and I can do the same to the other text as well. So the nice thing about this is that because you're editing each piece of text separate, you can choose different colors. So this is exactly what I'm gonna do now. So I've simply changed the text here and I've also clicked here and updated the colors. And then you can move to the next one by clicking here and then click again to close it and then click on the button. And you notice that I've changed the colors of each one. I didn't change the font size or anything. Let's actually play this video now and just see what's happened. I love that, I love that I can do that so easily. Now, let's have a look at some other examples. And I'm gonna stick for now just with titles because titles are obviously so important at the beginning of the video, at the end, for chapters in between the video. We use titles all the time. And one that I really like is these lower thirds. Now, if you double click on any example, you can actually see what it looks like. So let's just double click on this one here, for example, because I know it's one that I've been using. I'm just gonna double click on it and we can actually play it on the screen and you can see how that looks. 
At the bottom as well, we've got in, in that title section, we've got one here called Streamer, and I've been using this quite a lot. I've actually been using this uh, as a kind of video or a, as an animation in between my videos, okay? And the same thing, all I need to do is come over to here on the right-hand side, and I would just change the text. All you need to do to change the text is just write the word and then press on enter. And this is a perfect example. In fact, this is something I really did use in a video recently when I was looking at ChatGPT and using voice. And let's just quickly play the animation. And I really like that one because it's a very quick one and it's great to go in between videos. So you're moving from one section to the other, for example. And of course, you can just update the title. Of course, you can change all the colors. Let's move over and look at something else. But hopefully you're just seeing how useful these library features are and how much time they're going to save you. Now, another really useful section is the channel kit. So again, coming over to the library and then jump into the channel kit. And here, it's really useful because it's all things that can be, for example, used to encourage people to buy your products if you're trying to make commercial videos, or if you want them to subscribe to your channel, then this is really good as well. And you'll see there's lots of ones here. Let's have a quick look at, um, uh, you know, what we can do again is just click on them to see what they look like. Double click and you'll actually watch that. So here it is. Okay, like and subscribe, and of course we can change the colors, we can change the text. We've got a few variants here. Okay, this one's a very simple one, but it's still really effective, and again, you've got the option of just choosing whichever one you want, drag that onto the screen, and then of course what you would do is come over to here, you can change the text, even change the colors, etc. So really easy to add these library features into your videos. Without a doubt, one of my favorite features and certainly one that I started using almost instantly was if we come to this library, we have this thing here now, which is called dynamic backgrounds. And these are great, for example, for green screen videos. So if we just grab one and drag it onto the screen, you'll see. So what we can do is add a green screen in front of this. Now, I'm gonna show you an example in action now, but just look at the number of different options we've got. Um, in a really kind of lively video I did the other day, I used this one. And uh, it's really a lot of fun. And of course, the other great thing about these backgrounds is that you can also edit these. So we could even change the colors of this. We don't, we're not restricted to using the colors that are provided. If we want to, we can go into the properties of this and change the colors. So if we come over here to the dynamic background on the right hand side, notice I could say just as a really quick example, I'm just gonna change it. And of course it updates almost immediately. Of course, you're not restricted, you know, you can choose any color you like now of course you could have multiple backgrounds on the on the screen and have different colors in each one so that could really sort of start with that color then move to this color and then then this so what we're going to do is we'll change that one to make it uh, add a bit of variety so we'll choose in fact let's put it like a, a kind of yellow so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put a green screen video in front of this and show you exactly how that would work using the dynamic backgrounds so i've got a bit of video here that's been filmed with the green screen. I'm just gonna drag it on. Uh, I'll just kind of cut off the front bit there because I was getting it set up. So I'll just cut that off. And we'll use this footage here. First thing that I'm gonna do is kind of cut out this bit here because obviously the green screen uh, there didn't cover the whole area. So I can always just kind of m crop it so that that's absolutely fine now i'll position the green screen down here on the bottom and this is a lovely feature in camtasia it's one i really like and it works so well if you come down to um in, what we need here is um visual effects so click on visual effects and then all you need to do and it's so simple is remove color so we're going to drop that onto the video that video there the webcam and we're going to say to camtasia can you remove this color green and it removes it for me. And suddenly now I am sitting in front of a dynamic background. It's that easy to do. And of course, the lovely thing is if we come back to that library, you know, we can even play around with having different backgrounds at different points. 
And the nice thing about the backgrounds is that you can stretch them out and make them longer or shorter as well, which you wouldn't normally be able to do with a video background. These are a bit different, that's why they're called dynamic backgrounds. If you are interested in learning more about using green screen in Camtasia, then I'm gonna put a video on the screen now that you can click on that will take you through the green screen in much more detail. Now you can actually create your own library assets almost from anything that you produce in Camtasia. And I just wanna show you this as an example. So what I've done is I've gra grabbed a, a library asset, I've edited it. So this one here, as you can see, and it's teachertraininvideos.com. I'll play it to you so you can see how it works. Okay, now let's say I wanted to keep that because I'm gonna be using that on a regular basis. There is a way of actually just saving that as a library asset so that you can use it again and again and again and again. So easy to do, all you need to do, right click over the asset on the timeline, click on add to library. You've got a few options here. First of all, which library do you wanna put it into? Um, you can actually create new libraries if you want to create a new library. These are the libraries that I've currently got available and I'm gonna put it into Russell's library. And you would normally save it at the canvas size, okay? So in other words, in my case, that's full screen. Click on OK. Now that has been saved. So if I come up to my libraries, and I've got various libraries here, but the one that we're gonna obviously access is Russell's library, and there it is, that particular animation saved for me to use again and again and again and again great time saver now you're not only restricted you're not only limited to working with top you know with animations you can do the same thing with many things that you produce in Camtasia if the things that you're going to repeat and use again save them put them in your library and then you can access them time and time again Okay, really hope you found that video useful. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com if you did. There is a special section on Camtasia with loads and loads of videos. And as I said, don't forget that special offer that's in the description. If you wanna follow my work, the best thing to do is to be updated by signing up to the newsletter. That way you'll get updated with all the latest blog posts, the latest online courses, the latest webinars that are often free, and the latest videos. And we often do Camtasia Fantasia based uh, presentations. The other thing is if you do want to contact me about um, doing any training with you then you can contact me from the website here and of course you can find out about the courses that I run also from the front page. Thank you ever so much. I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now about working with Camtasia 2023.